Hi, you know me. Hi. I'm Lily. This is my live pitch to you, Micah and Lily the cat. Come here. Come here, baby. Yes. <laughs> Good girl. She's so, so for my project, I will be doing. Uh, okay. So, uh, you know me. I'm super disabled. <laughs> yes. Yes, um, ma'am. <laughs> mentally and physically. So, my Wait. whole preface of my project is to be able to make that accessible for dancers. Um, so it was really hard for me growing up dancing, not really growing up, but starting dance at a uh, late age mm -hmm. and trying to learn it with my disabilities and there was never really teachers that could teach me properly yeah. and I had no techniques for learning anything, no help, just, just roughness. Um, and my niece Emma had a similar experience and actually had to leave dance due to the fact her teachers actually said that they couldn't teach her. Really? Yes. Yeah, I know, right? Jesus yeah, I know. It's pretty bad. So, okay. my whole project that I'm making, um, the smaller project that's more feasible is a symposium. So this would be at Peabody, probably in Griswold, because it's one of the most accessible areas in Peabody's kind of inaccessible, but Elevators. Griswold's a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and in the symposium, there would be performers and there'd be a class that's structured mm -hmm. for um, disabled and emerging children to be able to take. And it can be adults too, it doesn't have to be children. Mm -hmm. um, so that they can be exposed to dance and know that dance is available to them. Which is like wild, because some people are like, oh, they assume, oh, I have cerebral palsy, I can't dance. They assume yeah. all these different things about being a dancer because obviously it's horrible, right? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's rough out there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. as you know, and um, so that's kind of my dream. Yeah, that'd be really cool. And then at this event, I would be able to network people to my bigger thing that I want to accomplish, which is creating an online platform for dancers mm. and dance instructors to be able to learn the skills that special education teachers have. Mm. Um, so I'd be working with like a neurologist, somatic practitioners, kinesiologists, special education teachers, like actual dancers, teachers, all that kind of stuff to be able to create this um, online platform for them to learn and get a certificate so that they could be more inclusive teachers. Sick. Yeah. Sounds awesome. I know. Right? Really excited. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. I mean, for the symposium, is that like you're going to present a performance and then you're going to teach a class or are you going to work with other people to do that? Theoretically work with some other people, but I have a lot of ideas myself. Um, I created some work samples for pretty much anyone to be able to convert themselves into a more accessible teacher as well. Hmm. So. Cool. What are the like, I mean, I want to be a dance teacher. What's the like, do you have a like a quick yeah. like yeah. items thing? Yeah, a quick little items is planning ahead, knowing that you're going to um, be taking a lot more time doing things because you mm. have to account for meltdowns or questions and things like that. A lot of what right. our Laura does. Yeah, I've seen um, some of it in, in class. And like possibly dimming lights, mm. the lights might be too much. Um, being prepared with costuming oh. because sensory issues with that. Yeah. Um, also having like fidgets and knowing what their habits are and how to assist them um, mm. and not really calling them out. Sometimes actually not facing the mirrors at all really helps a lot of children really? because they get very much like, I don't look like that. Like, I mean, I think we all yeah. have those thoughts. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's and a it, pretty it can universal. be very frustrating. Um, yeah, that makes sense. And then also doing a lot a, of um, visual representation. In. Mm, like demonstrating? Yeah, demonstrating okay. and actually talking and not just being like, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Um, helps them a lot. And um, like, yeah. yeah. Cool. Just explaining things a bunch and being prepared to be able to do that. Um, yeah. So a lot of people just can't do that. Yeah. And knowing, educating yourself about what the specific disability is, because someone maybe like who's deaf might need you to sign certain things and maybe just simple things. Um, okay. Or you might have to flicker the lights to get their attention, mm. possibly even. Um, so that would just be something you need to know. Maybe someone with cerebral palsy can't do a forward bend, so you might have to figure out how to modify that movement for them. Yeah. Um, but it's all just something a caring teacher would do, but a lot of people just can't and yeah. won't. So that's why it's important. Cool. I mean, it's. I care, but it's not something I have personal experience with. So. Yeah, I mean, no I one mean, does. I learn about it from you, yeah. but for the most part, like, it would be a ton of work for me to first understand mm -hmm. the the disability and neurodivergence element of it, and yeah. then also understand how to teach it. Yeah, I think that would be pretty overwhelming. Yeah, depending on my situation, yeah. but 
it sounds really helpful. Yeah. Have, like a list and some yeah. demonstrations and like you can yeah. put out videos and stuff. And it sounds have, awesome. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't have to be disability or disability, but just knowing like communicating with their parents being like, oh, they can't do this. Sure. Great. Yeah. Then just modify that. Like it, it could be as simple as just starting something with yeah. them, especially in younger children, you can really just change up the movement. It doesn't have to be perfect. And no. as they get older, they, they know their limits more. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's a good jumping off point. Definitely, that's what the online platform would be focusing on is educating people on how to do that. So. That sounds really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. Awesome. Any other questions? No, that's cool. Okay.